This morning's video deals with the gallbladder. Most people believe the gallbladder is a organ you can live fine without. It doesn't really have much of a purpose, and if it gets sick or unhealthy, uh, take it out. And many people have already done that, which, if they learn anything now, you can't have hindsight or remorse. Let's just cover a few basic functions. What does the gallbladder do? It mainly aids in fat digestion, and it concentrates the bile that's produced by the liver. Um, the function of that is so that you can break down good fats and it allows them to be uh, processed and absorbed. If you don't have good fats and you just have a diet full of bad fats, uh, which the bile won't be able to work on, the gallbladder will super concentrate and make crystals and eventually stones. So it kind of fills full of sludge and, and junk. So one of the best ways to keep your gallbladder healthy is a lot of good healthy fats. Um, when you take the gallbladder out without the bile salts, the lipids in the food will exit in the waste of your body and it will be undigested uh, mostly. What this means is that if you don't take bile salts as a supplement um, to replace the bile salts that your body would have made, that eventually you'll have a um, essential fatty acid deficiency because your body's really not going to absorb them. Even if you took the fish oils, the gamma lipoic acid, the alpha lipoic acid, the omega 3s, the DHAs, the EPAs, all that stuff, your body's going to have a really hard time processing it because you took out one of the key ingredients used to um, absorb and gain the benefits of those fats that we should have in our diet. Good fats have a lot of roles in our body that, you know, when people hear fat, they think bad, but there's good fats, and um, they include a healthy membrane of all your cells, reducing heart disease and stroke, which is why even cardiologists recommend healthy good fats, um, reduces hypertension, reduces depression, reduces ADHD, joint pain, rheumatoid, and a bunch of skin ailments, dry skin, psoriasis, stuff like that. It's not 100% for all those things, but it is a key role in all of those things. Without the gallbladder, one of the worst effects that you'll probably have is one that you won't feel. You won't feel it for years. Essential fatty acid deficiencies pile up later. And that's when the patient comes in and says, Hey, doc, you know, I got all this stuff going on now, but I really don't have a cause or a reason. What's going on? Um, so you need to take special care of what you're going to eat if you don't have a gallbladder or you need to put the right ingredients in with the food so your body can process it. Um, if you don't have bile salts, you can find them. They're not tough to find, but you're basically replacing that function. Some people have an idea that I'm going to clean out my gallbladder over a weekend or I'm going to do a purge if their gallbladder has stones or is sluggish. And they go on the net and they find stuff. And The short answer is it didn't get in there in three days or a week, and forcing it to come out in three days or a week would be like asking a pregnant mother to have a healthy baby at one month instead of nine months. Sometimes good things do take time and anytime you rush something that takes quality time is a recipe for just a bad idea. Anyway, look things up on the net, check it out, inform yourself, and make a great decision. This is Alan Huff. Make it a great day.